Oh, hi there, and welcome to another episode of One of Swords TV. My name is Dan Amrick. I'm known as One of Swords, and I'm the community manager for Activision. And what I try to do here on the show is answer your questions. Uh, send them to YouTube at oneofswords.com, and I'll do my darndest to try to get you a halfway decent answer, uh, you know, preferably more than a quarter decent answer, to, uh, to uh, some question you might have about games or the games industry or Activision or what have you. And today is kind of all three. Uh, I have a letter here from Tino Svaldo Mendoza. Hi, Tino. Uh, and he says, oh, hi, Dan. Uh, loving the One of Swords TV, keep it up. Thanks. Uh, this weekend, my family and I watched G.I. Joe Retaliation. I noticed that Duke and Roadblock were playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And as far as I know, movies have something called product placement. Uh, where as far as I know, movie studios pay companies for showing their products in a movie. My question, who would get the money in this case? Activision, Infinity Ward, or you, Dan Amrick of One of Swords? Let's rule out the last one immediately. Um... <laughs> It's a pretty good chance that if somebody is making uh, big money, it's not me. Um, and in fact, you know, uh, it's kind of hard for me to answer these kind of questions because I am not generally in the financial loops of the video game industry. Um, I, I can, I'm better at answering the creative questions and, and sort of how things get made. But uh, there's two things to consider here. One, yes, product placement exists. Uh, and it is basically what you think. Like, you know, when you see a, a, a specific Pepsi bottle or something in a movie, there's a really good chance that Pepsi has uh, paid or been paid or something. The money has changed hands somewhere. I'm not really sure whether it goes from the advertise from from the product owner to the movie studio or from the movie studio paying for the privilege of having a Pepsi. I think it's the other way around. I think the Pepsi would be paying. So um, uh, I know that this is so – I, I haven't seen G.I. Joe Retaliation, so I didn't know that Modern Warfare 3 was in there. That's kind of cute. Um I do know that uh, Guitar Hero <laughs> is in the Smurfs, um, I, and, and not because I've seen the Smurfs, but because uh, I talked to somebody here who was in charge of getting the clearances. So rather than money changing hands, in a case like that, um, money doesn't necessarily change hands. If they want to use your product um, just as part of the story uh, and not as like a big advertisement for that product, I'm, I'm you know, as I understand it. In the Smurfs, the Smurfs just play Guitar Hero, or somebody is playing Guitar Hero in the movie. Um, and I'm guessing that if they were just playing Modern Warfare 3, it was just supposed to be like a little, like, what would these characters do in their spare time? So if it's not an overt ad for Call of Duty or, or Guitar Hero or whatever, uh, then th what happens in that case is that the studio contacts the publisher and says, we would like to use this, can we get the approval? Can we get your permission? And, uh, you know, can also you supply us with... Uh, footage, you know, of the game that is appropriate and that does this specific thing that we want for the film. Uh, so it's more of a legal request than a financial exchange, uh, is my understanding. Now, you know, money may change hands in this case. If it does, I would guess, uh, I would guess that it would be uh, the publisher paying to have their product featured. Because, you know, think about the exposure. But at the same time, the way that video games work, video games are simply not soft drinks, you know, like uh, if for something that small, uh, I don't think that any money would probably change hands. I think it was more likely that on a legal level, the people making the movie had to get the rights and the permission to use this thing that somebody else owned. Uh, so that's my guess, is that probably no money changed hands. Uh, if it did, I think it would probably be the other way around, where the the publisher, uh, the product would pay the people making the movie to secure their spot. Uh, but I don't, I don't really think that happened um, uh, in, in these cases. It's more of just uh, making sure that nobody gets sued over using something that somebody else owns. Uh, so no matter how you cut it, I still didn't get any money. But thanks for asking. Uh, if you have a question for me about uh, the way that games work, or Activision games specifically, or something like that you think that I might have some insight into, I'll certainly try to answer it. Send it to YouTube at oneofswords.com, and uh, I will get on here once a week and do my best to answer them. In the meantime, check out oneofswords.com. That's my main website. I do giveaways and uh, and podcasts and news updates and, and stuff that you can trust that really is true. Uh, fight the rumors, people, and uh, don't get caught up in the console wars. Just play what makes you happy. I'll see you here next week.